Having a bench power supply in any workshop is like having a holy grail. That's how important it is for a bench power supply. Typically what's been happening is my mate just dropped this off. It wasn't charging at all. Even the charging lights on, the device is off. He hasn't told me how long it's been off for. The battery's gone on a sleep mode. So what I've done is actually taken it back, taken off the station, docking station. You've got your positive and your negative. I've literally injected uh, the recommended voltage on the back of this. It says the input is 10 volts and the output should be 8.4. So I've set the voltage to 8.4. One amp wasn't enough. Two amp wasn't enough. Three amp virtually just about. So I've set it to four amp because it was tripping. And as I've set it to four amp, the DAF battery is just the device just turned on. Uh, and and um, it's kind of, it's a way of like saying you've jump started the battery basically and that's what I've done I've jump started the battery the unit is powered on now and now it's going through its normal charge phase basically I wish I could have shown you that right from the outset so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that in um, <clears throat> and it's set to 9 volt but I'll, I'll increase it to 10 volt but that won't affect the uh, so 10.2 that will affect the uh, the power that it's drawing basically um, the reason why it was set to nine was that I was testing that you know those uh, universal power adapters what you can buy that you can actually toggle the voltage from say uh, seven to nine to twelve um, I can use one of them because just to buy a specific power supply for this would be uh, it'll cost an arm and a leg so if I can pick one of them up for about five six quid or, or most ten pound I'd, I'd be quite happy I'd be quite happy with that but with that with that one um, it has a nine volt and then it jumps to 12 volt basically so I'll show you what I've been up to right look if you look here keeping on that red light and I'm gonna lower it to nine volt it's fine it hasn't dropped and it's not tripping the lights not tripping here basically but what's what happened as I drop the voltage down see as soon as I reach below 7.8 volt it starts tripping look okay so a 9 volt would be a kind of a not the appropriate voltage but it's good enough to sort of charge the device and keep the device working yep so that's all the topic of the video is do have a bench power supply i've said this to uh i've, I've uploaded videos in the past this is the so-called holy grail for a workshop a decent bench power supply i do absolutely love this bench power supply i do have a very very expensive a thousand pound power supply made by a gw instec i think it's the 6000 series basically and i rarely use it this is toggle very straightforward quick toggle quick and easy to use and you can actually see the amperage that it's drawing uh, when you're charging a battery, the amperage, it will start from, say, 1,000, 1,200, and it'll start dropping, dropping, dropping until it's charged. Uh, today, I fixed this Nexus, uh, uh, Google Nexus 7, same issue. It's not been charged for about a, a year or so. Um, my, <clears throat> my customer left it to a side. Uh, it came in for a repair for the charging port, which I have now replaced. Let me see if I can get a zoom in. Here we go. There you go. You can just about get the glimpse that uh, it's a new port. Stupid camera. <clears throat> I always get trolled with these sort of things. You get the message. Right. Just, just. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Stupid Note 10. There we go. Just, see? Brand new port. Um... <coughs> So um, that's been fixed, but the issue with that was that the battery, because the battery's gone on a sleep mode, again, I had to jump start the battery. Um, positive to positive, negative to negative. Find out what the requirement of the battery is. Don't just set random voltage on the uh, bench power supply. For example, if the battery charge sequence voltage is, is 3.8, then you set your voltage at 3.8, basically, um, <clears throat> and, and let it sort of charge up. Um, and you will see with this particular power supply, you will see the numbers going down. As the number goes down, it means that the charge battery is getting filled up, basically. 
um, and, and I do love this power, su power supply, you know, bench power supply. Um, hopefully, I will be investing on another one. But as of now, I'm quite happy with that one. I do have another one across the bench over there. <coughs> Let me sort of uh, get some of these things out of the way. There we go. There's one here, uh, which uh, I'm not big fond of because it's, it doesn't give me the nice readout as the, uh, there you go, that's the one, it's a Skytronic if I'm not mistaken. Um, I just don't like it, so I've abandoned it, I was thinking of selling it, but I don't know, I just didn't bother with it basically, with all the stuff I have in this room. Um, <clears throat> it's it's, it's just, just a kind of a tip yard basically, you know, if, if you come in here and have a look around what I've got and what I've collected over the uh, years basically but yeah anyway that's all I'll keep it short and simple that's all um holy grail bench power supply